Hi, my name is Carlos Coronado. I'm a game developer, and today with me I have again Alexander, Alexander Pascal. Pascal. Woo! It's me. Okay. I don't really think you need introduction. You work for Epic Games for a bunch of years. Now you're in Catalonia, working in the University of Barcelona, and yep. having fun. Yeah, having a And time. yeah, like today's subject is actually consoles again. Yep. How to release a video game on PlayStation 4 using UE4. Yep, so if you've already seen, or maybe not, there's also a Switch video you can yeah. check out. Um, that's a pretty similar kind of concept, but this time we're talking about PlayStation, uh, PlayStation specific things to be aware of. So, specific things for consoles, especially PS4. Now, let me just say there's a bunch of things we cannot say because NDA. NDA. But let's just say that First point, optimization. All right, so if you optimize your game for, well, for computer, I mean, if you are aiming to work really well on a mid-computer so people can get uh, 1080 and 60 frames, yeah, it's going to work well on a, on a PS4. Like, that's, that's, that's for granted. And you should always aim on a PS4 for 1080p and 60 frames, because if you aim so, you can watch the other video, the Switch video, which I'm going to put the link in the description, and you will see that if you do that to a PS4, it's really easy to port it to Switch using uh, UE4. But what about some PS4 specifics? Mm -hmm. Without NDA things, let's just say that aside from optimization, the normal thing you need to worry on PS4 is your save system. Yeah, the save system. Like you, you, you have to, consoles. you have to really have mm -hmm. a really robust save system. And when you work on consoles, and actually not consoles, but actually I, I would say like, if you want to do a proper safe system, mm -hmm. like the noob thing to do, which I actually did for my first video games because I didn't know, is that you have the save using blueprints, all right? It's a save to slow and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And it's like automatic. Problem is with consoles, it's not that automatic. And what you usually do is you use the game instance to save things to the game instance and then when the game is loading or when the player dies, you actually save to the hard drive. Oh. Yeah. So you that's that's why there are some corruptions uh, uh, savings in consoles too. Oh, because there's a disparity between your kind of like local save and the actual hard exactly. drive save. Exactly. Okay. And so you, you, you have to be really careful with the save system, make a really robust save system. Mm -hmm. I recommend doing it through the game instance. And, and you, you save to the game instance to a stroke. Uh, my save it's a stroke, mm -hmm. and in my stroke, for example, I have like uh, arrays for uh, all the per persistence objects in the wall, etc., etc. Are permadeath, boolean, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's all a stroke. Then you, when you actually save, when the level is loading, mm -hmm. when the level streaming is happening, when the player hits the pause, when the screen is is, is totally black. Yeah because there's always like a little hinge, then you save to the to the hard drive. And the funny thing is that you, it, there's no need to do a save system only for PS4, actually. If you do this system, it works also for other platforms or computer, it, it works well if you do it properly. So save system is a big one, it's an important one. And the second one is uh, the UI. Yeah. Like, we mentioned this also in, in our other video, but mm -hmm. um, this is something you can't really, um, yeah, you, don't, you don't really think about very uh, early and all that is uh, the UI will change from console to console, not just because the consoles <laughs> literally will have different controls, the controllers have different button, like, like A, B, X, Y versus the X mm -hmm. squared triangle circle. Um, you also have to be aware of yeah aspect ratio changes like the screen exactly. resolution changes because if you make something for Switch at 720p for the Switch uh, in particular yeah it might not be exactly the same and exactly right. So uh, there, 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 there's a really useful node in US4 which mm -hmm. is a, a get platform or yeah. get system or something like that. Yeah. Which it it uh, mm -hmm. and then you can do a switch. get system name and you get a string and you make a switch exactly yeah. Yeah, and you can if I'm running on a PS4 then put the PS4 images in the menu of the buttons instead of the Switch ones. Yeah. If you are on Switch, put the Switch ones. If you're on computer, like... So, so you have like, like one master build and just a bunch of Switches. It's, exactly. There's yeah. no need to make separate projects. Yeah, I That's was going to say, I, I see people do separate projects all the time, and yeah, it's it's not necessary if you know what you're no, doing with, really. a, with a couple of Switches. Yeah, actually, and, like, and if you want... Really and and it, this is actually mean. public too, but we, we cannot get because NDA. Yeah, but you, do, you, do you remember the, the shooter game? 
shooter game template. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. on the marketplace. It's yeah, it's free. Game. If you don't load it, if you don't load it, it has already integrated the SDK of I think PS4, Xbox One, and also Switch. So just take a look at the files, and what I actually did is copy the file systems and then just uh, overwrite them in my project because they are set up the yeah. correct way. Yeah. And yeah. it saves a shitload of time. Yeah, so. actually, oh yeah, you know, I didn't mention this in the other video, but use the resources that already exist for these kinds of things because Epic actually put out different um, mm -hmm. resources. Like if you want to make a VR game, they have resources for VR games, it's like specifically, but yeah. yeah, shooter games, so you can have the console code just to look at it, you know, well, what you can look at. Um, and I think that's really all. We're going to do another video about yeah. certification and how to pass certification yeah, on like optimizing with and certification. Four. But yeah, it's yeah, like it's uh, really condensated. But once you uh, enter in PS4 development, I think that's 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 all. Another well, another no, I cannot say that because of NDA. Uh, wow. <laughs> see, this I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, I would also say yeah, just. Um, because of NDA, we can't say that a lot of very specific things. What I can but, say still is that when you make builds to test on consoles, oh God, yeah. I would advise to make always uh, shipping builds. Yeah. Uh, it's the only thing I can say without NDA strikes. Yeah, just go on ahead and start building on shipping when you're testing and Pi and all that. Yeah, and, and, and build. Uh, build often and... and Early and often. And early, yeah. yeah, yeah early yeah, and often. Like the, as soon All as time. you get the dev kit, or oh, oh god, yes. Like the start. second you get the dev kit, just yeah. go ahead and load a template up on it, just to make sure you understand. Don't, don't the wait process. till the end. Or till, oh, okay, now yeah. it works on PC. Now consoles. No. And, Big uh, mistake. Yeah. yeah, I was. Oh, that, that was the last point. Was about the dev kit itself. Um, getting a hold of a dev kit. We mentioned this in the Switch version in the Switch discussion as well. But um, getting a hold of the dev kit isn't always easy. So you might have to talk to a publisher or a friend who has one or... Um, yeah, I think to, that nowadays I think it's, it's easier little, to get a yeah. PS4 one because now Sony's like, ooh, sweet competence, we, we should get in this, yeah. making ways for future. But still it's complicated. Yeah, if you have zero contacts at Sony, try, always try, but if they're not immediately quick, but it, you might want to also talk to It's the same as in Switch. If you yeah. have something cool, something, not a, not a cool idea, but something, a prototype, a vertical slice, yep. something cool already made, People want to help you. It's not going to be complicated. Yeah, it's but mutually beneficial for them to help yeah. you. So just ask, ask all you can. And also, I'm just gonna say this: uh, even though it's uh, um, not supposed to be out there, go on ahead and Google what the PlayStation Four kit looks yeah. like. Yeah, you, you might get one and be like, uh, "I think you sent me the wrong object." I, so. I think I think there are no pictures of it because it's on their NDA. No, no, they, uh, people have they're, apparently they're, leaked, they're really, if yeah. you look up, there's some leaked pictures of a PlayStation <laughs> developer kit, and I'm just okay. going to say, you should definitely look at them, because there's definitely a mismatch between... Yeah, let, let's just say that yeah. if some Bulgars go, come to, to steal in your in your studio, they are not going to steal the deck. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what it looks like. Uh, now, I think that's... No, that's about it. Without getting is. into deep NDA stuff, go to the Unreal Engine forums once you get yourself all signed up through everything and you'll start seeing all the good NDA information in there. Obviously, yeah. that's where the good stuff's hidden. So, um, right. So, yeah. okay. So, Thank hope you, you find the info useful and see you in the next one. Bye. Nine minutes.